Good evening, and welcome to Monkeys with Fire. How is everybody tonight? I hope you're all well. Hope you've had a good day. Are you all set for the weekend? Good evening, Orgy. How are you? Are you all set for the continuation of Chronicles of Crime? Welcome to Redview. That is what we will be playing this evening. Looking forward to it. And good evening, Roger. Welcome. Just making sure I've got everything ready for tonight. Most things seem to be working. <laughs> okay, Sarah, are you with us? Are you ready? You are? Okay, let's bring the mic on in then. Good evening, Sarah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going a bit too loud there. It went crackly. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> there we go. That's better. <laughs> How hello, are you? Hello, everyone. <laughs> How are you? You good? I'm good. Excellent. Uh, Augie's excited to see how the story continues. Yeah, okay. So, well, for anybody who didn't join us last week on the show, Sarah, do you want to give a sort of overview of what happened last time? Okay. So we're a bunch of teenagers, right? We're not at school because... Everyone in the town has fallen ill. Lots of people. It seems like it's this deathly horrible thing, but then we got some people who are just like, <coughs> oh. But anyways, apparently the museum folk were okay. However, dun dun dun, there was a break in. They didn't steal two tomahawks, no, just one. Curious. They stole some jewelry too. Also, curious. This has led us to realize that we are also looking for a book. A book? Right, a book. What's in this book? Let me tell you. See, there is a witch that used to supposedly live in this area, like, you know, whatever ago. And she was married and had kids, had happy life. And then one day, the husband was like, I'm going to go run off to live with this bear. And she's like, that's fine. You go live with that bear. I'll keep the kids. But then the townsfolk were like, oh, you're a witch. Let's kill your kids. And some people think that she felt inconvenienced by this. However, I feel she was just really mad. So she was like, how dare you town folk kill my kids? I'm going to create a virus thing and curse you all with it. Woo. And then Hocus Pocus, that happened. And then somewhere along the way. We still don't know what happened with the man and the bear, but who knows? They'll probably happy together. But then there's some sort of like alcohol type liquid magic situation happening with somebody else. But, but we're still not quite sure how this all connects yet. All we know is that they, somebody may have opened something. Oh, so white haired guy down here, budget Colonel Sanders is like, I like technology. I want things to come here. So let's dig up some stuff. Where, let's be honest, guys, they dug up some stuff they probably shouldn't have, which released this poison into the air, right? So then we got the Mat Mat man over here. He's all like, yeah, man, I'm all into these conspiracies. Let's do this. And then we got this creepy bar guy down here who's like, yeah, I'm sketch guy, but no, it's not me. And then we come to find out that the teacher up there on the left of the museum lady is all like, what? These are my relatives, but I'm innocent. So really, we don't know what's happening. 
Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the uh, budget Colonel Sanders. I, I, I never saw that one. <laughs> so, so we don't know what's happening. <laughs> I'm confused. You're confused. Everyone else is confused. Oh, and then the doctor. Yeah, something with the doctor. Who knows what's going on with him? And then the sheriff's sick and she's just coughing on us. I don't know. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine as what's been happening. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's it's the book, kids. The book. <laughs> That's the dark. <laughs> Where did Silent Bob go? Okay, well, well, let's cut to the live. Oh screen. yeah, I think the red view sign is. Oh, I forgot to mention Silent Bob. Nuts. <laughs> and yes, there is Silent Bob right at the top. Okay. <laughs> so the top section, remember when I said that they were digging some stuff up to build some stuff because they want to bring jobs and technology? Well, this is the crew. The two gentlemen on the right, they're the crew. And the guy on the full right is why we were like, he was all like, it wasn't me. Even though I know how much the tomahawks and jewelry's worth, they're only worth something if they would have taken both of them, right? Mm -hmm, snooty, that's what I was thinking too. But then this guy on the left, Silent Bob, came in. We don't know what's happening again. Nobody knows what's going on. I'm confused. We're all confused. <laughs> well, we, we, we didn't speak to Silent Bob last week, did we? He was literally the new character who came out, and we haven't yeah, spoken but to we, him. But we had a curfew and had to go to bed, even though our parents are sick and probably wouldn't have known that we were out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could be playing hooky all night, and of course, we yeah. were just too good. Man, now I'm, now I'm stressed out. Now I need to eat some love hearts. <laughs> so not sponsored by Swizzles, just so everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, uh, something that I hoped was going to work isn't working, so I'm going to be a little bit clunkier than I usually am tonight, but let's see if this uh -oh. works. Well, while he gets that set up, Everyone in the community should be receiving their community paint-alongs. I received mine today. Make sure you guys post them up today or tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, so everything's working. Um, I don't know if your your mic is a bit close to your, to your mouth. You're getting a bit of a crackle when you're speaking there, but uh, hopefully we can just move that slightly. Uh, I think then we are good to go. So at this moment, we are talking to Gary Idle, who is at the Double B Bar. What do we want to do next? Okay, is this better? That's much better. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'm not eating them now, Augie. <laughs> Um, now we have crimes to solve. There's, not, there's no time for love hearts now. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I was so worried that those were all going to fall out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's always time for love hearts. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to crunch so loud with my mouth open. But then I was like, oh, wait, it's going to fall out. So it's a new day. We're at our treehouse, right? No, 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 no. We are starting exactly where we left off last time, which is talking to Gary Idle in the Double B Bar. It is 5.25 in the evening. Okay. Oh, and also don't forget that whenever we do solve this, we get to add 10 points back to our score. Yes. Yes, because because we, that we, hint was not a hint. <laughs> yes, we, yes, we 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 should have uh, we should have stayed out, shouldn't we? Uh, as Lornor suggested, um, we should have gone. We should have hit the bars as soon as seven o'clock <laughs> mm -hmm. came along, uh, but we didn't. We were good kids. We went home. We went to bed, uh, but we could have been out getting clues, solving crimes. Okay. So where should we go? What should we do? We I feel that we we possibly spoke to Gary enough. Okay, I don't remember what we learned about Silent Bob, but okay. Shall we just go and talk to Silent Bob? Um. Because the thing is, is that at seven o'clock, I think that is the evening cutoff. We've only mm -hmm. got, you know, uh, an hour and a half to get over to the construction site and sort of quiz Bob. Why do we only have till seven? We stayed out way later the last time. 
True, but if you remember, some locations effectively close in the evening, and I think seven o'clock is the is the evening cutoff. Whereas other locations oh, probably, open up. So Bob probably will go home. Those three want to go drink. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, they will come to the bar. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I guess we should go talk to him. Unless Chat thinks we should do something else, or we go ask other people. No, because if we go ask somebody about him. Then it's gonna be like, oh, I don't know anything, and then be like seven o'clock. So exactly, yeah, let's Should go talk. Go so. to him. Yep. Yeah. All right. So let's go on over, and we scan. Uh, oh, sorry, we have to go to the location first. All right. So we know that our two construction workers are there, but let's go and talk to Bob. Oh, he's not present. Ah, so maybe he, he shouldn't be there. Maybe he's over here. We know about him, but we uh, we haven't met him. Uh, so, so maybe what, we should ask Matt about him. Well, what about, well, since we're at this location, why don't we ask one of the construction guys? Oh, yeah, I guess we could do that. Yeah? Yeah, whatever. It makes sense with your life. <laughs> okay, and he seems... <laughs> more amenable so this place is not for kids but let's ask I'm him i'm surprised that i remembered that much about this game from over a week ago y yeah you done re done really well done really well I did pretty good I, I think chat who was here last week can agree that i pretty much spot on word for word replicated everything <laughs> <laughs> so here we go then uh asking about uh his name is david helm but for uh, the purposes of this game, he will be Bob. Uh, he works as an electrician on the construction site. Since work is basically at a standstill, he has quite a bit of free time. From what I understand, he was an advocate and spokesperson for the workers. Oh. Hmm. Two months ago, he gave up his role as representative, and people say that the construction site's management may have bribed him to step down. Maybe that's why he fell out with his buddy Sam. So Sam being number 10. So we need to maybe talk to him about. Uh, we haven't seen him in a few days. I guess he's sick too. He must be at the hospital with the other victims. Oh, so he could, oh. Be, he could be here, but we do not know. Shall we talk to Sam then to find out what this beef might be? Yeah, let's see what, what Sam might know. Yeah. Okay. Over to Sam. Also, chat is being ridiculous. They said, what well, if only it had been recorded so you could recap beforehand. Like, what fun would that have been? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here we go. Talking to Sam about Bob. Uh, he's my best buddy. Well, he was. I haven't spoken oh. to him in several weeks. He's changed since the disease started taking out our workers. Oh. I mean, yeah, if I released a deadly virus that was, like, hurting everybody, I'd be, I, my attitude might change a little, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was our representative with the developers. Now, though, he doesn't talk to many people anymore, and he barely stops by the site. He spends his day at the hospital with his patients. I think... Oh, with the I patients. I think that's pretty much saying that, yeah, he's... I think we can assume he is at the hospital now, yeah. can't we? He might be patient. He might be... He must be into that crystal stuff on the side. <laughs> <laughs> so shall we... Sh quartz. <laughs> shall we head over to the hospital then, yeah? Yeah. I just feel I'm going to have to be a coughing lady again. <laughs> okay here we go yes here we go there are people with red view syndrome everywhere even in the hallways you notice that dr peterson is here as well as the sheriff and david helm so okay silent bob. okay silent, silent bob silent bob let's talk to bob All right, you find David is one is in one of the dormitories designed to accommodate the patients. He remains motionless among a dozen patients. Huh? Yes. What do you want from me? Right. Chat. 
Oh, I think you know what we want. What? Gan what shall we ask Silent Bob about? Scan them bottles. The bottles, yeah. That's what we're going to go for. Yeah, All right. But the bottles, we're going to start with something small. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, when we started digging for the construction site, I found an old underground chamber full of cases of old bottles from the Prohibition days. My buddy Sam was with me. We decided we wouldn't talk to anybody about it. It could be worth a fortune. And Gary, Gary being in the bar, uh, actually gave us a good price for the case we sold him. Oh, Gary's in on it. Those kind of discoveries always end up attracting trouble. Experts come and want to examine everything, so work gets delayed for several months and we don't get paid. So we closed the hole and waited until the following weekend. But another team poured concrete on top of it. There was no way for us to get back in there, but I'm willing to bet there are other entrances. There seem to be several chambers Shortly after we found that one, the first people started to get sick. I'm convinced we didn't just find booze. We released the witch's curse. Yes. Right. Uh, Roger. <laughs> Lorno's asking if he's got any, you know, stuff for sale. <laughs> so Roger's suggesting we should ask him about the book. Let's do that. I think so. That we should do that. All right. Well, the witch's curse is striking this town again, and her spell book disappears. If I were you, I'd leave Redview as fast as I could. She won't stop here. We should have run away uh, as well when we found those bottles, which we already have. So, he's not adding any more. Shall we talk about the papers? That was about okay. the uh, the old... The old mayor, wasn't it? And his bootlegging... Uh... We ask about the papers. Papers. And then we're going to ask about the uh, melee weapon. Okay, okay. Because he seems to be not so silent. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, oh, you want to know what happened? Here's what happened. <laughs> he, he's a sings like canary, Bob. Yes. Right. Uh, it's true what they say about Tony Simons being an alchemist. I know that now. But he was no wizard. He was just a copycat. He had understood the witch's work. We shouldn't mm. have touched those old bottles. Going back to the bottles. It's all right. We're going to ask him about oh, the weapons. Mm -hmm. There's only one person in this town for whom this is valuable. Howling Owl. If I was a police officer, I would search his trailer, M, right away. Aha! Oh, snap. See, he might have still did the breaking in of that, but because, you know, work stopped and they needed money. Because you know at the end of this, it's going to ask us all around about questions, too, that even though it's not like, how did everyone get sick? It's also going to be like, who stole this? Why did they steal it? What then happened to Budget Colonel Sanders? Exactly, that's it. There's, all, there's <laughs> always a main plot, and then there's a subplot, isn't there? You see, and uh... but do we know what's going to happen? The police in this town is sick, so we get to do the unofficial illegal searches. <laughs> 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 That's it. No, no, nobody cares too much if a, a, a bunch of kids break into his trailer, but if the police do oh, it... Man, uh, what do you mean what we're doing here? Oh, uh, we were... we uh, Our baseball's in here? <laughs> <laughs> Can we have our ball back, please, mister? We were just looking for our baseball. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, do we want to ask Bob about anything else? Ask him about the teacher. Oh, okay. Because right. you never know. I mean, he's, he's singing. <laughs> Might as well oh. take advantage. We should ask him about Colonel Sanders, too. <laughs> this is this is a perfect Ooh, response. Yeah. Ask about the DIY tools. He remains silent, staring <laughs> into space. Go for it, Bob. Go okay. for it. <laughs> All right. Let's ask him about the uh, crowbar. 
I, th I think the developers absolutely put that one in there, didn't they? Uh, let's do this one. Oh. Why should you take precautions when you're only coming to reclaim what's yours? The witch came to reclaim what's hers. She didn't burden herself with precautions. Hmm. It's a bit weird. Uh, should we ask him about the science ball? Oh, yeah. We need to ask him about the science ball. Yeah, yeah. I mean, essentially, we ask him about everything, don't we? I don't know what this is. Is it one of your video games? Uh, no, it's definitely not. So, only the jewellery left. Let's. We might as well do the whole lot. Yeah, might as well. Half He's here and sick. <laughs> half of this town is dying. There isn't one police officer in the streets and the bank's doors aren't even guarded anymore. So why would someone steal this of all things? All right, let's ask him about Colonel Sanders. All right. Wait, why are we still asking him anything? The banks aren't being watched. Let's get to the banks, kids. <laughs> is there, is there a, let's go let's go get some college fund button. <laughs> yeah. This town is dying by some ancient witch's curse, and he shows up to the construction site in a free piece suit he doesn't want to stain. In my opinion, he must be getting kickbacks from the project, otherwise he wouldn't be so concerned with the progress. He comes by twice a day to keep track of who's sick and who's working. Hmm. Oh, it is now dark in Redview. Some places are closed, others are open. So, we could go to the bar. Or we could go to the trailer park. Hey! What What do we want to do? Um, do we, chat, do we want to go to the bar? You know, stir up a little bit of trouble in this one horse town. Or do we want to go to the trailer park and see if we can do some some sleuthing around there? So I'm thinking if we go to the trailer park, maybe we could find some more clues or something that we could then ask people about. This this sounds like a good plan. I, I think that might be the case, yeah? Shall we do yeah, that? Yeah, and plus, it might be after work, so they might be distracted at the bar and they won't be there. Exactly. Yes. Shall we? Shall we do that? Let's go to the trailer park then. Yeah. All right. So over to trailer park. Here we go. On the outskirts of a small suburban neighborhood, there is a trailer park full of mobile homes and RVs. That's where Troy Scudder uh, lives. His trailer has a distinctive canopy roof. Troy being this gentleman from the construction site. Now then. Uh, it is not saying that we can find anything. Oh, we can't like search and look around? No. No, it's just a. It's it normally it would come up on the top of the app saying you can have a search. So so yes, there is. Did nothing. the trailer not have a card? No. No. Oh. It's, it's literally just the location. Well, well, okay. Let me scan Troy just in case that's where he is. Oh, here we go. You knock at the door of Troy's trailer. After a few minutes, he answers the door. You apparently woke him up. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> so Troy is over at the trailer park. Why are you sleeping at seven in the evening, sir? It's a bit suspicious. Um... There's no option to, like, search his S thing sneak, or to, like... Sneak it around, yeah. Yeah. Roll yeah. the dice. Sneak us in. No, but, but, well, that there, there isn't. So he is there, so that maybe that is the reason. Because he's there, we cannot search. That would seem reasonable, wouldn't it? It's past 7 o'clock now. It's now 7.20. 
He's gone home. Quick. Dick, behind this trailer. He'll be like, what was that? Go look. And then we go look in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's going to fall for that. Um, oh. <laughs> so, yeah, we're a little bit stuck. We, we can't search his trailer at this moment. We'd have to do it well, in, the, in the next stupid. day. Let's go drown our sorrows at the bar. You think so? I think, I think that's yeah. possibly a good idea because the bar was the obvious place to go. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The bar, which is usually noisy and overcrowded, seems very quiet and nearly empty. Gary Idle, the owner, is sat at the count is at the counter. You also recognize Sam Cage. There we go. We got Sam. Sam is at the bar. So we could ask Gary now about those bottles, couldn't we? Because we definitely know that he bought one off Silent Bob. Right. Yeah. So let's talk. Because to... we know more now. Yeah. Hey, the busy bodies of Redview. Go and dig through my trash if you think it'll help your stupid investigations. Sorry, kiddies. I don't serve strawberry milk. <laughs> Rude. Rude. Let's bust him. What if Sam was like, wait, man, you don't? And then just gets up and leaves. <laughs> so here you go. I don't talk about it because I wouldn't be able to meet the demand if people knew. Yeah, I managed to find some bottles of Tony Simon's special liquor. How? Well, I can say it now because he assured me that there weren't any more. David Helm is the one who sold them to me. He said he found them, but he didn't want to say where. No, you can forget that right now. I won't give you any. Your kids. <laughs> Besides, I might run out soon. I'm already diluting it for my customers. Just How stop. <laughs> How about we talk to Sam then about the bottles? Okay. Yeah? So yeah. Let's talk to Sam. I like how he's telling us all this, like this was stuff that we didn't know already, because it turns out Silent Bob is not so silent. Yeah, they they're all seem to be a little bit more talkative now. Okay, okay, I know about the <laughs> bottles. I was with David when he found them. We were doing some early digging for the construction site, and we wanted to keep it to ourselves so we didn't have to stop working. There were other tunnels and probably other cases to bring back up, but we didn't have time to do it, and our hole can't be accessed it anymore. <laughs> I don't believe <laughs> anyone... <laughs> okay, that's what it says. Okay. <laughs> I don't believe anyone noticed that we got in, but the hole has been covered in concrete. There might be other access points if you look hard enough in the right places. But honestly, I think it's better that whatever was there stays buried. See, two days after we found the bottles, people started to get sick in town. David even thinks we released the witch's curse. I just think we brought up some toxic air or bacteria or something. Who knows what nasty things have been lying in wait under the town. So, it's evening. Maybe we have to go to the construction site. Maybe we can search now that the workers are not there. Is that worth trying? What could go wrong? That'll be safe. Let's go, guys. Yeah. At night, the construction site of the business park looks like a wasteland where unfinished, unfinished concrete carcasses have been stranded in the forest. Aha! <laughs> Here we go. So we do have a challenge. Uh, it's a hard challenge. So we're going to have to do some skills. We've got search and deduction. Now, deduction. We got plus two on our deduction. I reckon that's what we go for. And we got plus two okay. on, on, on the other one either. So what do you want to go? Search or deduction? You choose. I say with all the confidence in the world. Go on, which one? Which one? Yeah, no, no, search. Oh, sorry, you, you, you didn't come through. So you're going to go for search. You dig. You in didn't a, come through. Okay, sorry. <laughs> you dig in a somewhat random fashion around the location of the tunnel found by Sam and David. So it's a hard search. We need. 
Was it a five or more? Let me just double it's check a, this. It's a hard search for their hole. <laughs> Uh, so a, re a result of five or six means ah. one success. A result of seven or more means two successes. And we only need two successes. Uh, so we've got minus one, but we have plus two. So in fact, we've got, we got a plus one on our dice rolls. So trying to get a seven. Here we go. <laughs> you see? You, you never see dice rolls like that normally in these games. <laughs> but when we win, we're looking for your hole. You better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's a, definitely a success. After a few unsuccessful attempts, you end up finding an underground chamber close to the construction site. You start exploring it with a flashlight and you progress for several hundred yards. There is a whole network starting underneath the construction site. After a short exploration, you arrive in a big furnished cavern. It would be interesting to search this place more thoroughly. Ooh, we can search the scene. Do we want to search yeah. the scene? No, let's just go to bed. Yes, yeah, search the scene! All right. <laughs> Here we go. Chat, make sure you're watching. We are looking for all the clues. Here we go then. What are we gonna find in this hole that we have found? Okay. Yep. That's what you'd expect. So technology. Oh, what are these? <gasps> the missing necklace. Is somebody making science balls in here? Wait, is this the construction site? This is the cavern underneath the construction site. Oh! Oh yeah, we're definitely going to be looking at photos and stuff. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! All right. Did you guys catch all of that? Yeah, let's go through the list. <laughs> all right. So let's just move. Chat, if, move if there's the anything chat in the list, type it in in case we forget it. If there's any cards that I'm like, no, we don't need that one. But you guys saw it, be like, yes, we do need it. Okay, so here we go. I'll, I'll start reading these off and you, t you tell us what we need. I don't think signs. Okay, signs and symbols. Boxes uh, and packaging. Uh, Trash. Flammable uh, objects. Uh, toiletries and hygiene. Plants. Uh, uh, games and toys. No. Bags and no. fashion. Animals. No. Clothes. No. Bedding. No. Office materials. No. <laughs> Office materials in a really functional cavern. Uh, oh. Books. Books yeah. and magazines. There was a book. There was a book. There's a book. Sports items. So yes, keep the book. Keep the book. Kitchen no. utensils. No. Photos and cameras. Yes. Tableware. No. High tech devices. Yes. Well, Com for that time, yes. Yes. Computer devices. Yes. yes. Keys and locks. No. Cords and restraining devices. No. Communication devices. Maybe. Maybe. Firearms. No. Furniture. No. Decoration I mean, items. Put furniture to the side because we've learned that that. Yeah, okay. Decoration items. No. Gardening tools. No. Medicine. We did see jewelry, but, medicine and but we already have jewelry up there. I didn't see any liquids, but chat, did y'all see liquids? I didn't see any liquids. No, no. Uh, liquids, blood and organs, you, vehicles. Did you see any liquids? I didn't see any liquids. Uh, footprints and traces. I don't remember seeing any. Food. I, I don't, don't think, remember seeing any. No, I think that's probably a good, 
a good but we did see there. the necklace down there we did didn't we so what we might do then is i will scan these and then i will come back over and i will scan the jewelry because just in case let's move those out of the way all right so let's do communication devices so we start i know scanning. i said that there were bottles in a box that could equal liquid Oh, okay. All right, we'll, we'll we'll come to that. Let's do the communication. So, no to communication. Computer devices. They're saying boxes could be could be one as well, since the bottles were in a box. Uh, this <clears throat> is computer or electronic equipment that seems to be used to make strange objects. Strange objects like being science balls. Science ball thirty one. Science balls. So this, this is the, this is the place of the science balls. High tech devices. I think we might find that that leads us in the same place. Several TVs have been connected with various wires. Everything seems to have been torn down quickly, and you don't see any power sources nearby. But we have found a clue. All right, excellent. Photos and cameras. Yeah, we need to look at that, because there's photos of everybody. There was, wasn't there? You find a collection of several hundred of photos depicting several locations around the town and a lot of people. They appear to be scenes of everyday life going back several months. Most of these photos look like they were made discreetly, and the subjects are not posing. Who would, l who would you like to find in the cavern photos? Oh, 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 so we have a clue. Are we able to scan? <gasps> right. Oh, this is interesting. Here we go. So now we have pictures of Redview. Who do we want to scan and sort of maybe see if there was a photo of that person in the cavern? The uh, uh, old lady. The old lady. All right. Okay. Here we go. There are photos of Regine asleep in her museum. <laughs> okay. Oh. We, we could probably scan everybody. So who, who are our uh, pe pers pers persons of interest? Colonel Sanders? Okay. Yeah, and the teacher and Silent Bob and the doctor. You see photos of the mayor, but what looks particularly interesting is that on one photo, the missing spell book appears to be on his desk. Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, teacher, says Roger. Ms. Mackenzie appears in the photos. One uh, of her in the shower makes you blush. <laughs> hey! Saucy! Yeah, I mean, it's kind of disturbing that somebody's taking these photos, though. It is. So, but who could it be? Maybe, maybe, maybe oh, oh, here we go. If we scan everybody, maybe the person who hasn't got a photo of themselves is the person doing it. What do you think? Yeah? I don't know. <laughs> Lorno says he's saving that photo for later. <laughs> uh, let's okay. Let's scan. Let's scan Troy. There are photos of Howling Owl. In one okay. of them, he's dancing in the rain. All right. I, I, I think this is actually this is this is maybe a good idea. There are to see who's not on the wall. Not on the wall. Yeah. If you're not on the wall, then maybe you were taking the photos. So there are photos of the sheriff walking her dog. Let's see if the dog was there. You find photos of the doctor hard at work. Silent Bob. There are photos of David taking money from an envelope in his mailbox. <gasps> oh. We, we're getting oh, to yeah, the... He was, selling. he was selling those bottles. Yes. But that means that somebody's down there for recent reasons. I bet you there's not a picture of the mat. Okay, should we do the mat as last then? Let's do Gary next. Yeah. There are photos of the bar, but strangely, none of Gary. 
Oh. Oh. How about Matt? Let's do... Okay, so we're going to go for Matt. You don't find any photos of the Matt. It looks like there wasn't any camera in the Matt cave. Too much interference. Oh, so these are photos from the, from the science ball. And we'll oh. just we'll just do Sam just to complete. There are photos of Sam watching a football game with an incredibly large bowl of popcorn. So wait, what did it say about um Matt? It said that there were no photos of Matt because there was too much interference. So it didn't say that it, it 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 wasn't a negative. It was kind of like there was an explanation as to why there was none. But it did say that there was strangely no photos of Gary. So definitely persons of interest. It's looking like Gary and Matt, maybe. Hmm. Yeah? Interesting. Uh Definitely looking. So uh, we've, we've scanned everybody who is in town. Maybe, maybe that's why it's taken Matt so long to build a new one, because he's like, uh... <laughs> maybe... Oh, oh, Rogue's got a good idea. Maybe they are both in it together. <gasps> oh, didn't think of that. Oh, good idea. Good idea. Let's let's continue. So we've scanned all of the, the faces... Uh, so there's nothing else we can do here, so we'll, we'll cancel that. But we can now continue to scan these items. Let's see. So we've got the books and magazines. Uh, this is not useful. We've got the furniture. Oh, it's now given us a warning. It's 10 p.m. Time to go home. Well, as your parents are sick, they won't really realize. But you might get tired if you stay up too late. So we're going to keep going, because we can. Because <laughs> they're sick. Yeah, so furniture was no use to us. What was the one what? thing that was left? Was it was it bottles or liquids or... Yeah, liquids or boxes, they were saying. But I mean, really, what are the parents going to do? Liquids. Oh, no, you saved us. Oh, you should have been in bed. Yes, please don't save us again. And you said boxes, didn't you? There we go, boxes. All right, let's just give those a scan. And we want to do jewellery, don't we? Because you did see jewellery. Ah, here we go. These are apparently very old wooden cases. Inside, there are bottles where lab labelled Alchemist's Elixir. They've been dragged here from the tunnels. Most of those cases aren't open. Uh, they are very heavy, but you can take one with you. So we've found a clue. We have a case of liquor. <laughs> hey! <laughs> yeah, we can take it with us. This is going to make the rest of the investigation go so much quicker. Uh, no joy on the liquids. Let's try that jewellery, just in case. You find what are probably pieces of Native American jewellery. They matched the descriptions of the jewellery stolen from the museum. So we, f we found our jewellery. We might as well, just in case, was the tomahawk here? No, it was not. How about the science ball? Yeah, there's a lot of those. All right, here we go. At first sight, these devices... The size of an apple looked like some sort of eye made of metal, electrical wiring and printed circuits. A lens as used in photography is set at the top. There are many of them. Some are partially dis dis uh, disassembled or half assembled. They match what you found at the museum. Okay, since the book is there, can we yeah. search the book? Yeah, yeah, exactly. The most obvious thing. Let's do that. Yeah. It's the spell book that was stolen from the museum, but it's covered in notes written in red marker, mostly meaningless words and scribbling. Hmm. Right. Found the book. Let's take the book with us and go to bed. 
Uh, well, I think it, because we've scanned it, we automatically, I think we, we, we have it. Um, so that is good. So is there anything else we want to do in these caverns while well, we have a mystical spell book and a crate of booze? What do we want to do? You know what? Let's just throw caution to the wind and get drunk and do spells, guys. Come on. <laughs> Absolutely. Or should we just go home, go for a good night's sleep, and then crack the case in the morning? Raise the dead and rule the world! Um, <laughs> or I'm also okay with going to bed. Right. I think that's possibly what we should do, shouldn't we? Uh... It's like when you're in your teens and early 20s and you're like, yeah, let's stay out all night and get in trouble and then when you're like actually the age where like you you think you're old enough to be doing that stuff you're like nah let's just go to bed let's go bed. let's go to bed yeah, let's go to bed right uh Roger's saying go to bed and org is going ooh ah you see all the clues it's all, it's all all coming together now so we're gonna go to bed uh, our parents are still virus nobody tells us what to do but we are deciding on our own to go to bed <laughs> Now, this is why our parents trust us because we decide to go to museums when school is closed. We go to bed even though nobody's there to tell us to. <laughs> we, we're just generally good kids, aren't we? Right? God, this town would be lost without us. <laughs> All right, so let's go to bed. Uh, you go home to bed. But Red Roo Syndrome doesn't sleep and the disease might have infected you today. We'll find out. We have to do a body test. Uh, if you fail, you're sick. Well, let's, let's find out. So, third day of investigation. You saw several military vehicles driving by. Tonight, the army will quarantine the town in order to avoid an outbreak. Time is running out for you to finish your investigation. Your findings are expected in your HQ. You recover the energy points? Yes, we've done that. So, we're day three. It is 10 a.m. in the morning. What do we want to do? Who do we want to talk to? Watch our Saturday morning cartoons. We could we could do that, or do you want to go and talk to Gary? Or we, I mean, it does say we could tr attempt to solve the case right now. Do I we don't think we're ready for that. You don't think we're ready to solve the case? Do we? Who who do we want to talk to then? Um. Okay. Uh, and remember, there is opportunity. I'm not, I'm not there's opportunity for us to go to the trailer park because maybe Troy is not there now. Okay. But also, or we could go talk to Matt, the Matt. We could talk to the Matt. Now that we found all this other stuff, maybe he's going to be a little bit more cooperative. This is true. We've, we've got more things to sort of say, haven't we? Yeah. What, what should do we do? That. So we got the, we got the Matt, the we have Matt. the trailer park, and we have the, uh, the, the bar. Where are we going to go? I have Deal with the mat first. Deal with the mat first. Rogue is saying, take the booze to the bar. I don't think we've got any booze left. I think. I, I think. Feel like it's too early in the morning to deal with them right now. Okay. So the mat is at the counter. Let's talk to the mat. He's asking how the investigation is going. Shall we ask him about science ball? Yeah. So he again, he's yeah. There, there was no, he's not doing anything there. I think so. Let's check to check see. Tell him about the high tech devices. Ah, here we go. Uh, mouse. All right. According to your description, it was a listening or monitoring station, like in spy movies. The screens may have been broken by an intruder, or the spies might have tried to cover their tracks. Let's ask about the photos and the cameras. Yeah. He's got nothing to say about that. So, and the only other new thing we got was the boxes and packaging, wasn't it? 
Okay. Some real elixir and a whole case. Well, I say hats off. It's amazing to have found this. I wonder what's in those bottles. It would be interesting to analyze them. I think, I think Matt is, uh, Matt's quite benign. I, I don't think Matt, Matt's, Matt's yeah. our man. I think um, we should go to the bar. Yeah, let's just go and do this. And if he kills us, he kills us. Let's go. Let's go. So we go to the bar. Am I concerned that he's going to kill us? Yes. Because we're going to be like, the jig is up, dude. The jig is up, Gary. <laughs> okay, so we ask Gary about the bottles. <laughs> Here we go. I do realize you've had no speaking parts whatsoever on this one. It's definitely been all a... I know, I've been chilling like a villain. <laughs> <laughs> you've been doing, you've been, have a nice, easy night. Here we go. Like, story Alch time with monkeys my favorite. <laughs> Alchemist's elixir. These cases were promised to me for my services. How did you get hold of them? He spa starts speaking very fast. I'll give you enough quarters to keep you playing at the arcade for a year if you give them to me. Is it a deal? Is it a deal? Oh, oh here we go, gang. Uh, are we going to uh, to give Gary the elixir? But what what's he saying? He, for his services. What was his services? Do do we do we ag agree? Do we take the quarters no. or do we say no? No. Is that a, de a definite no? It, chat, are you agreeing? Should we not give Gary... There is a picture of a woman in her bathroom where she is supposed to feel safe. And this dude isn't in the pictures, which is super sus. And we're just supposed to do what he says? No. Come so, at us, bro. We're, we're definitely saying no, then. All right, here we go. Gary seems nervous. Come on, seriously. Please don't talk to the cops about it. It would be a pity to waste all this good stuff. Think how much good it can do to the people in the town. Yeah, we're going to skip our happy right. butts over to the sheriff and be like, hey, Coffee McCofferson, check this out. Shall we? I think we should scan and ask him about the photos. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Here we go. He has no idea. Oh. Oh. Right, well, how about the high-tech devices? I don't see the point in having several screens. There's never anything good on TV. Right, so he does not know. He does not know anything about the photos. So, so what? where does that leave us? Sure. You see, you see because this... He's just so crappy of a person that Science Ball Man didn't even care to spy on him. But you know what? What does she teach? Is she a science teacher? Because dun dun dun. You think you think do you think Teach might know all about it? I don't know though, honestly. I think we should go ask Colonel Sanders about it. Okay, let's do that. This is the thing, isn't it? Do we know who is in that cave doing this stuff? We've got no idea. Oh. So. Uh, okay, so we're able to go and see Colonel Sanders. Oh, we have to use uh, discretion to get up to him. I think, yeah, we're, we're, we're just, just going to... Last time to just roll up on him. Remember, he was like, just come straight to me. Don't talk to her. Okay, so it, we're actually we're search, so it, it, we're searching the office. You managed to move discreetly, but the mayor is in his office. There's no way you can search. You'll have to come back when he's not here. However, your scouting mission will make your task easier. So... We can't go and actually, we, we can't talk to the mayor uh, because we actually want to search his office. Should we, should we go to the, to the trailer park now then? 
Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um. All right. Again, I don't think this is. Ah, you knock at the door of Troy's trailer. There's no answer. He's probably out for the day. So. Pretty search. So we can, we can, we can go on in. Uh, we're going to climb in through the door. All right, here we go. It's a piece of cake to climb and get into the trailer. Inside, you find a bunch of Native American objects mixed with Troy's personal stuff. It's not easy to search through such a mess, yet you find a Native American tomahawk, number 12, yep, yeah, badly hidden under the retractable bed. So Troy does have the tomahawk. So we know that he did this, the, the robbing. So then Troy was down there because the necklace was down there. Ooh. What? Yeah, no, no, I, I, I can see where you, you're going with that. Um, yes, because you would think that whoever broke in took all the items. Why would he then take the tomahawk back to his trailer but leave the necklace in the cavern? And I'm pretty sure he said that the jewellery wasn't that valuable, whereas the tomahawk was. Right, so he went and was like, oh, nobody's going to buy it, you know? So so maybe maybe somebody else did the break-in, and he bought the tomahawk off them. But why? Well, obviously, whoever, whoever broke into the museum was there to steal the spell book. That was the purpose. They just happened to take the other artifacts with them, didn't they? Right. Uh, Roga, the time is ten past twelve. Did we have much faith in Sam or not? Because Sam might have did it and then, you know, sold the tomahawk. Uh, or Gary stole the tomahawk? Or Silent Bob stole... Oh my god. You see what I'm saying? This is why we can't finish it yet, because there's just so many people. Why are there this many shady people in our town? I mean, I mean, we got it. It's, it's never going to ask us so many really... Uh, well, too many questions. But the thing is, one question it's certainly going to ask is, you know, who's down in the cavern? I've got no idea who might have been in the Who's cavern. Who's in the cavern? Who broke into the museum? Yep. Who, you know, we don't know that yet, so... I don't know, this is making me angry. <laughs> <laughs> well... I can uh, see why the man ran off with a bear now. It was just a simpler life. It's definitely a simpler life. Um... Hmm... You did mention about talking to the teacher at one point. Yeah. I don't think we're getting any, we're not getting anything more from them from Matt. Gary has been pretty much he's focused in on the elixir, nothing else. Right. I'm going to assume so we, we'll move these. Troy and Sam. We'll be back over at the construction site. So... It's all so shady. Yeah. We could... We could talk to Sam or Troy. Because now we can say to Troy, Hey, hang on a second. We, we, we've been in your, in your trailer, mate. You need to tidy it up. Um, yeah. So we could con confront like him. Why do you have this tomahawk that you said you didn't have? In fact, should should we just do that? Yeah. Because he might start sort of uh, talking more. So let's go to the construction site. 
or he's going to kill us. Just so you know, I have it in the back of my mind that at any moment they will can decide to just kill us. Oh, the, this. Oh, oh. Troy is not present. Oh. Oh. So he's he's not at his trailer, and he's not. So how about let's talk to Sam? Does Sam know where Troy is? Sam is not present. So mm. could could it be a case where we can actually search the scene? Does that take us down? Let's just uh I'm just looking to see. Okay, so yes, it just allows us to take a look at the scene again. Ooh, what's that? I'm just quickly looking here. There's the science balls. There's the necklace. There's a generator. Lots of TVs. But there was something else. That looked like a, a map or something. Or some clothing. I don't know whether we caught that. Oh. Let me just... Uh... Clothes. Signs and symbols. Let's just do those. Let's see if these are any good. Nope, that's no good. Ah! Ah ha ha! So the cloves, it looks like a dish towel to clean the kitchen. Uh, number 33. Is that this game's hint that it's a lady? Because if so, that's real bad. <laughs> but no, no, it could mean that it, we have to go to the diner. Let's go to... Where's, oh. where's number 33? So yes, toiletries and hygiene. So... So, if that's the cloves, maybe we have to scan that one. You find an old, dirty dish towel. And it is a clue. That is good that when uh, you think you're close to something. And no, there's nothing on footprints and traces. So we did have, we, there was one extra uh, well, it, it's 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 clever that it, it realizes that you might have thought that it was a piece of clothing, and it's saying no, actually, this is what it is, and so it's correcting you, but it knows what you were kind of thinking. That's that's quite cool. So, we have a dirty dish towel. <gasps> oh, oh, dirty dish towel! It's gonna be it's gonna be Gary, hasn't it? You know, he's always cleaning. He's cleaning the bar. Yeah, like a bar towel, yeah. But, but, but the thing is, why is he, why is he so excited about the booze? Because if he's down there, he, he'd have access to it already. His entranceway was plugged up, so he thought. Uh... Yes, but maybe he went down with with Bob and Sam, and uh, maybe he he dropped his towel down there. Do we do we? So okay, so what do we do? Do we go to the hospital to talk to Bob again now that we've been down the hole? Um. Or do we talk to witchy science teacher and quiz her now that we have the uh, the dark hold? There's a, there's a quick Marvel reference for all you guys out there. Because I feel like Gary's still gonna just be like, "Uh, uh, it's not me." 
I mean, it's like, come on, Gary. Clearly, it's you're you're seeming real guilty here. I think, uh, yeah. I mean, maybe we maybe remember. Maybe the game is is such that Gary's never going to come straight out and say we just have to answer the yeah, question. Yeah, okay, it's me. Yeah, but at the same time, I I feel like the mayor somehow knows a bit more than what he's talking about. Maybe. Yes, and we we couldn't search his area. And I just wanted to talk to him. I know, but it's not—it's not giving us that option. Yeah. So, what do you think? Do we go to the hospital or do we go to the uh, to the museum one last time? What do we think, folks? Ch chat. <laughs> Rogue is saying papers. What what what's what's the papers in regards to Roger? The papers remember talks about uh, Tony Simons, the old mayor, the alchemist. You paint papers and teachers. Yes, well that's okay. Let's let's go let's go and talk to Teach. Let's see what she yeah. has to say. Yeah. We haven't quizzed her for a while. But she's still there, <laughs> helping tidy up. Uh, so we can actually say, hey, we've got the book. Shall we do that? What do you think? Shall we do it? Are you not here? Can you not hear me? I, I can't hear you now. How about now? I can hear you now. Okay, yes, the book. The book, the book, okay. <laughs> she has no opinion about it. <laughs> oh my god, we're done with you, lady. All right. How about the boo how about the booze? Yeah, ask her about the booze. You found some elixir. Oh yeah, okay. no, this is a speaking part for you. Hang on, hang on. Away you go. <laughs> You found some elixir, for real? From that time? It's awesome, we should get it analyzed. We should drink it now. <laughs> we should get it analyzed. It's a pity the high school is closed because of the outbreak. I can't use my lab. Oh, they didn't trust you with keys, Miss McKenzie? <laughs> oh, shall we ask her about the, the rag? I mean, we do have this no. uh, crowbar here, but yeah, let's ask her. No. How about, let's ask her about her uh, shower photo. Mm-hmm. No, she has no opinion about it. We've asked her about the book. Uh, she has no interest in that. So, uh, she's a dead end then, isn't she? Shall we talk to Silent Bob? Yeah. yeah. You mean yeah. Chatty Cathy? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's say goodbye <laughs> to her. Let's go to Bob. Oh, man. Uh, he is still there. Right, Bob, we're asking you the questions. And uh, what do we want from him? We want to know all about the booze, Bob. There we go. Yeah, they are the kind of bottles we found. Ours were more damaged. These look more like the ones Gary served secretly to the ones who know to ask. All right. How about... Gary. Does he recognize it? This is not mine. It looks like one of the dish towels that Gary uses. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah ask him about the photos. Ask him about the photos. Tell us why Gary is taking photos. <laughs> he doesn't see, no, just doesn't see how this is relevant. So Gar Gary's definitely our man. Right. But why was a museum broken into? They stole the book, right? He stole the book. So, so okay. So let, let's let's see if we can try and piece this together. So Gary together. stole the book, sold the tomahawk to to what's his face? To Troy. 
to, um, to our and guy now here. they might be doing some blackmail to the mayor. I still want to talk to the mayor about this gosh darn book, but I won't let us talk to the mayor. All right, okay. Let's let's see if we can get to the mayor now because time has moved on. Uh, let's do that. So the mayor is still in in his office. We'd have to search late at night. We can't talk to him. I I think I think we are we're at the point where we should go and solve this now. We're into day three. In if we feel we have enough, okay. What what? But they are kind of they are kind of running us in circles at this point. A little bit, and that might mean that hey, we've we've done everything we possibly can right. do. Yeah, let's let's. So yeah, even Augie's saying cracked the case. All right, let's let's do it. Let's do it. So let's go back to the treehouse because that's where the police come and uh, ask us about solving the case. Here we go. All right, you are about to solve the case on end of game. Are we sure? Yes, we are. All right. Who robbed the museum? Are we saying that Gary did everything or do we are we saying that No, because that guy knows that that stuff wouldn't be worth money though. So why would and like he said, why would you only take one? So are we going to say that Gary did everything? I don't, no, I don't think Gary did everything. I think that the museum was robbed by Troy. Okay. I'm. I'm. Do we agree? Do we? Do we say that? Well, oh, Rogue is saying Gary robbed the museum, as is Augie. I think this. You know, as you said earlier, there are sort of two storylines. There's the the museum break in. But then, but he ooh, wanted the book for the alcohol, wanted, though. Yeah, oh, exactly. So I think Gary might have done it, man. All right, are we going to go with Gary? Yeah, fuck yeah, let's go. I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I so, was so good. I was so good up until this part. I'm so sorry. So, so who stole the book? I'm so sorry. This game has bamboozled my mind. Yes. So it's asking. Yeah, I think Gary stole the book. Oh, okay. Oh. No, no, no. Who do you think? This is a team effort. Stop it. It's not on me. You see, I, I would have said that Gary had stolen the book. Oh, but, it, well, maybe may, maybe it's it was a two-man job. You see, who broke into the museum? Troy. Who, st who st oh, we can, we can restart the questionnaire. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, so, yeah. Who, so so who, who broke into the museum? Troy. Who stole the book? Gary. Gary. Yeah. Yeah. Do 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 does the uh, chat chat do you agree? Gary wants the he, book, but that's Troy's why gonna I want it's so good at not cussing. But this game has bamboozled me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Shall shall we restart then? And do, do people agree? Let's restart. So who robbed uh, the mu who robbed the museum? It's gonna be Troy. Okay. He's just not happy. Who stole the book? It's Gary. Gary. Who found the alchemist's elixir? It was it was it was Silent Bob. Yeah. 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 Because they were the one that opened it. Him and yeah. Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who Can set you also up... put Sam, or does it? No, it's only it's only one person. Okay. So who set up the strange device at the museum? We're saying Gary, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because he's the only one not being spied on by the device. What? Oh, what is the cure for Red View Syndrome? Oh, see, we. Should have taken the book to the doctor. Okay. Um, it's the it's the book. It's the book. Yeah. Because we got the book. All right. Here we go. 
Thanks to the evidence you provided, Troy Scudder is arrested for the robbery at the museum. He maintains his innocence during the trial and is given a light sentence. Ooh. In spite of all your efforts, the museum never reopened and Regine Peterson enjoys a well-deserved retirement. Officially, a team found a team from the federal government found a cure for Redview syndrome and the whole town recovered within a few weeks, but something seems off. Even though the witch's curse has been defeated, you have the feeling you missed out on many things in this case. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Oh, look at that. Oh, we got a four. We got a fifty out of a hundred, pretty much. Oh, oh, right. We did bad. Yeah. We did. Restart bad. the restart the questionnaire. It's too late. It's too late. We've done it. So, we were incorrect with who robbed the museum. It was probably Gary. Uh, who stole the book? We got a, li a little, a little bonus there. So, uh, so Gary possibly wasn't it. Who found the the elixir? It, we were correct with Silent Bob. Who set up a strange device at the museum? We were incorrect. Probably uh, the mat. And what is the cure for the Redview syndrome? Uh, we got a little bonus there. But yeah, we did. We did so bad. So bad. I am Man, not. This is why it brought me to cussing. I will not. <laughs> I will not in this uh, this stream click on to find out what the actual real answer is. We don't want to ruin yeah. the game. But it just goes to show there's so much more for us to have found out. Because <laughs> I feel that we could replay this game one day. Like we could replay this this exact one i think so yes and because we know enough that we don't know anything well the only certainty that we had we had as far as those questions silent concerned, bob, but I mean, is silent bob yeah exactly but he straight up was like this is what i did yeah yeah i do like these games these are a lot of fun um, and I'm glad that uh, we've. I'm mad. You you are able to sort of uh, come back to it, so it's not we, all in one session. We weren't even close. Well, con considering the last game that we played, granted, this 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 was a a hard uh, sort of mystery, but, uh, and the last one we played was was a medium mystery, uh, but we we, we, we nailed it. Our parents are never letting us stay out past curfew ever again. <laughs> <laughs> the first time we were rock stars and we were like, here's who took your dog and here's why. And we were only six points off. Yeah. And, and now, but, now we're just the av average mystery team. But now it's like, cool, you found the book. Way to go, team. You might have saved civilization, but you're all stupid. And what? we're just like, we don't know anything. Well, you know, the federal government came on in and, you know, it's, it's it was time for the grown-ups to sort it out. Um, but maybe, maybe that's what happened. Maybe they were upset that some kids figured it all out, so they just said we were wrong. So that way, people, they would still keep getting our, the taxpayers' money. <laughs> Because if the taxpayers find out that a group of high school kids who just needed something to do with their time figured it out, they'd be like, why do we need you people? Exactly, exactly. I'm very upset. I'm very upset. I'm heartbroken and I'm upset. I am... Oh, no, no, don't be, don't I be. I am. Here, I'm gutted. Gutted? <laughs> I'm gutted. Um... I'm sad and I'm gutted about this. Well, no, the great thing about it, then, it means that we can leave it many, many months and we could always come back to it and, and, and give it another go. As you say, you know, we'll, we'll, forget, we'll, get, we'll forget most of the details and uh, so we can play it once more. But see, that's why, like, one, it got to be story time with Monkey and I was just sitting here listening to you read everything. Mm -hmm. But also, I just sat here in silence because I'm just like, wait, what? 
Because it's just nothing was making sense and everything seemed too obviously not right. <laughs> well, 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 I don't. It, again, again, interestingly, in this particular game, uh, the, 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 ti the time limit was three days. So, in fact, you know, because we would have had to have done it anyways, we would have had to. We 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 could we could have actually spent more time. You know, I, I think that's always a something that we're not sure on. It's like how long do you keep on investigating uh, until you right. think you've got to the end? This particular mission allowed three days worth of investigation. Right, so that's actually quite a and, lot. And I think the mayor had a lot more to do with what was going on. I agree. Um, yeah. But the fact that it would never let us talk to him or do anything like that just seems really weird. I, well, then, I think what it was, it was that we had to go and sneak into his office in the nighttime. Yeah. Which, he shouldn't have told us to just come see him any time then. He shouldn't have lied to our little hearts. Yes, we're, we're so gullible with stuff like that, aren't we? Man, I was so excited to give a recap to everyone, and now I'm just sitting here like, well, crap. <laughs> uh, just, it started off so great and now i'm just like yep this is why he ran off with the bear because of this <laughs> man i'm so sad there we go we went from like top a student detectives to just not <laughs> I'm sad. Who you're wants to cry on stream? You're sad. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Right. I guess what we'll do then is we'll we'll finish it up there. But chat, if you if you want if you want to stay, uh, st stay in chat. Right. I will I will end this sort of stream and then restart it again. Okay. So uh, so let's just well, I guess finish up. So thank you very much, Sarah, for playing tonight. Uh, even though we didn't quite, quite solve everything. Quite we solve it? We were so far <laughs> off. <laughs> I am like seriously sitting here like, wait, no, but wait, yes. But then why? <laughs> like, I can't. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Rogue is saying, disappointed we didn't do better, but it was a good game. Well, it was. Yes, yes, <sighs> yes. Right then. Chat, you stay in the channel, and I will be right back, okay? Okay, thanks right. for having me on. <laughs> <laughs> am I staying in here, or yes, am I yes. getting kicked out? You, 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 st you stay there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute you, and then we'll, we'll, we'll come right back, all right? We'll, we'll have a bit of a chat. A chat. It's, it's Monkeys with Fire after dark, yeah? We'll, we'll do this. <sighs> all right. Okay. Bye, Bye for now.